Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg for uh, Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this lives. And of course, it's April 2nd, 2015. We survived the April Fools. Nothing real, real crazy got me. A couple of those like... You should check out the Deadpool trailer I just tweeted a little bit ago uh, here this morning. If uh, you would, ooh, hello. sorry, I got an Instagram. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but today, uh, speaking of uh, accessibility and being attached to things a little bit, um, you know, we've talked a lot about Periscope and Meerkat here in the last couple of uh, weeks, of course, uh, here and over on AwesomeCast at AwesomeCast.net. I actually had a really good uh, Meerkat versus Periscope discussion uh, this week with uh, Chilla in studio, if you want to check that out. Um, and we got the clip as well up on the YouTube channel for that. Um, but there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, uh, we had uh, yesterday I had a meeting, a great meeting with Gretchen from over at Pittsburgh Filmmakers. And of course, my friend uh, Christopher Whitlash with Pittsburgh Foundation. And we're talking about like how a lot of these nonprofits can use some of these things. And, and in the course of our conversation, I started showing Meerkat. And then later, uh, uh, Periscope, of course. But it, and this is a t this is a, you know this is attainable by both sides. But this is the kind of experience that I think makes this awesome. We're just sitting there at a crazy mocha coffee shop in downtown Pittsburgh. We're like, oh yeah, here, check this out. You can do this. You can do this. And then somebody pops in and starts chatting with us. And they're like in Florida. I followed them on Twitter. Hi Dan, if you're watching out there. Um, and and he started he's a student in, in, at a college and and he's uh, getting into a lot of this stuff and was giving our opinion and how he's been using it and stuff he's been watching and and i just let it go and next thing i knew we had like eight people you know uh in on our conversation which was about like all the cool ways we could use this stuff for nonprofits and that they can use this stuff and not have to pay for you know because the, the angle was you know what is all the stuff you can do to engage this audience that's not paying five thousand dollars for a five minute video that doesn't really engage anybody, right? And we're going to be doing a lot of work there and a lot of education, I think, in the coming uh, uh, months. And we're at the early planning stages on that. So your fingers crossed. Um, I know we are doing a series. Uh, I think it's all, all approved. Um, so I'll be announcing that here soon uh, with the Carnegie Library. Again, kind of focused on nonprofits, and I'm going to be talking about this kind of stuff that we're doing with video, Google Hangouts, and, and, and using stuff like Meerkat, Snapchat to, to engage with people. I mean, heck, you know, I, this is one of those things I, I've mentioned before. I'm, you know, I have right here a, a Periscope running. I have people popping in asking what the podcast is about and everything. Uh, I got at least one person hanging out there. I think this takes a second to refresh, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, you know, I'm adding an interaction that I normally wouldn't have here on this show, just popping in, you know, whenever I get to this in the morning and yeah it fluctuates depending on how morning goes for me to be quite honest um but uh you know it, it, the fact that you I, i'm really surprised at how many lunchtime meerkats you know it, it's like how many times i've showed it off at lunch at a coffee shop or something and it turns into hey a couple people popped in you know and now they're part of our conversation which unfortunately is mostly about meerkat so <laughs> how do we do that you know uh, and, and i know there's been conversations about like well yeah somebody from mashable was a meerkatting or periscoping uh the building collapse that or explosion or whatever that was that happened in new york a, a few days ago and they're like yeah they're like too far away there really wasn't anything and they're like well i think there's something going on and there's people in the chat watching cnn telling him what's going on okay it doesn't always work just because these tools are awesome and can get you some pretty cool um insights into stuff doesn't mean it will every time it's kind of a user situation as well and are they close enough to really be giving you any insight right but he's given his angle and i think that's still important and the other thing is the idea that hey cameras are everywhere in a way that they haven't been for a while um and this goes right along with like i think the meerkat periscope thing again it's like look what's happening right now omg right and then you can save that and you could do something with the video later um which which is great right um but this is an incident and and i think this is you know we, we've had how many conversations you know since ferguson and, and 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 so many things going on i think they're maybe approving to do uh, uh cop cameras here in pittsburgh um but you know the idea that no you were not safe from cameras and not just the closed circuit ones that you may worry about on stoplights or like they have in in, in london right uh, on every street corner but you have to worry about the consumers and that's where uh this cop in new york unfortunately uh as a uh, as the verge uh writes here um another cop forgets that everyone is a cameraman new york Police department officer stripped the badge of gun over a hate-filled rant against the Uber driver. And I did listen to this over breakfast. Um, and uh, it, it, it is, 
uh, it doesn't look like much, of course, at this point. Uh, but it is uh, apparently the cop was trying to park and didn't signal and the guy got in his way in some weird way. I don't completely understand the situation, but the guy is definitely there banging on his car um, for no real good reason, even for like whatever the citation might have been or something like that. Um, and, and this is the, this is the, the, the customer, the Uber customer. That's just like, nah, man, you're not in the wrong, but don't mess with the guy. By the way, I got this in video and even turned around guys license plate afterwards too. Brilliant brilliant right we have these in our pocket turn it on you know capture this thing if you're like this is messed up boom you know um there was a uh uh, an, uh so another incident where something happened I, you, know, you didn't really see it. this is the other problem with this and i think a problem with um the one uh that everybody was going crazy over i'm trying not to get weirdly political or whatever the case is here but there's a, a a case in new york city you know the, the unfortunate incident where the guy got choked down and everything and and not knowing what happened not you know not want to touch on the the uh, uh discussion areas and there's other ones where uh somebody in pittsburgh during a protest got uh, you know uh you know kicked in the head by the cop pretty much which that alone was uh you know obviously unforgivable but again in all those instances the camera was turned on you know not at at you know i would would even in this case with this this cop in the in the uh you know uh in the uber driver i wish the camera had been turned on about 30 seconds beforehand to see what led to this like whatever has gone down and now we're getting the reaction right uh the purse the pro the protester that was choked out kicked in the head whatever it was you know we didn't see what they did to instigate all we have is you know at that point you know something to uh you know we had the reaction right uh and 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 now you have to say okay well, they did that that's obviously bad but you're like oh wait the person did what you know and not saying that that's the case in any of those uh, uh deals um but you know it's 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 one of those unfortunate things with that but we do get that we do get some context to start with and and again if the cops have the cameras on their side you know they do have their side of the story and i think it protects them in this day and age where hey everybody else has a camera now we need to arm you the cops with the cameras um and because this is the way we're going the the genie's out of the bottle for all this stuff and uh and 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 we have to be aware of it you know you can't pick your nose because you don't know who's going to be barricading in traffic you know what i mean i mean how many things the coolest thing i seen was was uh, alex Lindsay of uh pixel core and uh, mac break weekly and and all kinds of cool stuff he does over there uh he's driving around rwanda uh with the you know with the with the phone on his dashboard and and just filming going around because he has a hundred people asking him questions about freaking Rwanda you know from all over the world I mean that's that's the kind of thing and you never know what you're gonna get me he gets an accident in front of him you know remember the uh, the uh, the uh, the asteroid that that came down in Russia and everybody has a dash cam because everybody's freaking insane out there right um, and. Uh, and it got to capture something cool like that. Now we start doing this and meerkatting it or something like that. And uh, and we get, you know, some more interesting things going on. So um, let me know what you think about this new camera saturated world that we live in right now. Um, you know, what do you think about the situation with the Uber driver and the New York City police officer? Um, great that they, there was reaction to it. By the way, like even more in this article, it goes into... Uh, this guy was part of the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force, a highly trained, locally based, passionately committed uh, investigators group, and um, and he's gone. He's gone out of all of it because uh, because he 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 went off on the wrong guy that had a patron in the back seat that happened to have a camera that was trying to help him out, um, and uh, and there you go. So let me know what you think about that. At Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com, or wherever you find this video on YouTube. You can look up Basic Sorgonomics with Mike Sorg. And uh, hey, check out everything else going on. Uh, Sorgatronmedia.com is a big thing. If you can't spell that, go to MikeSorg.com. And actually, just everything I do from there is it's funneled into this About Me page. And, um, and, and it's a good starting point for anybody who wants to figure out what the heck I'm about over here, which is like pretty much what the show is, is everything I'm about and excited about. And I've had enough coffee that I can talk at a good pace and fit, fit a lot of information into 10 minutes. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.